Thank you for joining us this evening as the BCC Bees from Fall River, Massachusetts. I'm John Habershaw. I'm Nathan Silva, and please watch as we take the NHTI Lynx on November 12, 2013, on a cold Tuesday night. The starters for tonight for the BCC Bees are Malcolm Moniz, Fawaz Mass, Shane DeRosa, Devon Bailey, and Kevin Newby. Kevin Newby is the center of the team. Shane DeRosa with the ball. BCC's ball. Malcolm Moniz carrying the ball up the court. Off to Shane DeRosa. As he looks around. DeRosa to Bailey. Looking for an opening. Travel call. Travel, I didn't see that. Yeah, oh, my bad. Turnover for BCC. Now with John. Four. Nine out of the 14 players on BCC are freshmen. That's true, that is true, and that's actually remarkable to think about it. Very young, fast and young. All right, the Lynx has the ball. Jordan Richardson enters the ball. Great defense. Shane DeRosa is carrying the ball up court. Fast break. Pass it to Mass. Mass with an easy lay-in. Great fast break. And BCC scores the first bucket of the game, everybody. Nice pass. A beautiful lay-in by uh, Ethan Rudledge. Great pass. Shane DeRosa shoots. Ooh, oh. tough miss. Curtis Williams, oh, is fouled. Foul was on Fawaz Mass. Two shots. To be honest with you, I don't, I don't think anybody would. Curtis Williams at the free throw line. Makes the first shot. Makes the second shot. 4-2 Lynx. Malcolm Moniz, the point guard of the BCCBs, carries the ball. Passes it to DeRosa. Over to Newby. Malcolm Moniz with the three. That was a good shot. Rebound went to Fawaz Mass. Great pick. Here's a three. Another tough miss. That is a foul on Shane DeRosa of the BCCBs. Questionable call. Both of them were going up for a uh, rebound. A great full court press by the Bees. Oh. Great defense. Great carry by Ethan Rutledge. 6-3 B, uh, the Lynx, my bad. Moniz passes it to Bailey. Bailey missed on the jump hook. Oh. Almost lost the ball. Oh. 
Shane DeRosa carrying the ball down the court. Moniz, oof, thought he got fouled. Thought he got fouled. Number 35, carrying the ball down, passes it to number three, Phil Smith. Great defense by the Bees. Their defense uh, made them draw an uh, offensive foul. Moniz carrying the ball up the court. Has it to Mass. Mass to Newby. That's the type of shot you want to take. Beautiful shot by Bailey. 6 4. Links. That is Jordan Richard. Jordan Richard with a deadly three. Moniz carrying the ball up the court. Pass it to DeRosa, DeRosa to Bailey, back to DeRosa. Over to Moniz, Moniz driving in. Oof. Tough shot, tough shot. Demetrius Rose with the easy lay-in. Again, Moniz carrying the ball up the court. Pass it over to Mass. Mass in a bit of a bit, bit of a stick, sticky situation. Sticky situation. They are playing great defense, but their offense, offense needs a little bit improvement. True. Very true. The Lynx are playing great D right now. Tough miss by DeRosa. Oof. Demetrius Roos is fouled. By Newby. Kevin Newby. with the uh, first shot in. For BCC, Derek Lewis subs in for uh, Devon Bailey. And Anthony Parker subs in for Malcolm Moniz. Possibly. Ooh. Great call by the ref. Also great take by Fawaz Mass. The bees are taking the ball in. Mass with a great take. 12-6 links. Looking to be uh, over 500 today's game. Number 24, Curtis Williams passes it to number 10, Alex Ingles. Ingles over to Demetrius Roos and Roos with the and one. Here's his one free throw. It's two for two, Jack. Mm. I'm not expecting him to miss this one as well. Oh, commentator's curse, I guess. DeRosa passes it to Mass. Oof, great defense, great defense. Oh, 
links have these two big stones that are just clogging the paint. Yeah, number 45, Ryan Sweeney. He's a big man. And Roos, number 35, he's very, very big. Definitely, they definitely outmuscle BCC. But BCC definitely has the speed advantage. Great form, great. Number 22, Anthony Parker with a nice jump shot. BCC's coach calling for a travel. Number five, DeRosa. Sloppy pass. Red ball. Off of one of the BCC's shoulders. Number 22, Mark Harbor, subs in for number 24, Curtis Williams. Sweeney passing in the ball, number five. Great full court pressure by the BCC. BCC's ball, great full court pressure. DeRosa passes it into Derek Lewis. Lewis is a promising big man. Passes it to Justin McElroy. Over to Anthony Parker. Anthony Parker with another jump shot. Beautiful, beautiful. BCC's full court press is surely rattling them. Sloppy pass. Great. Oh. The refs. Rest call out of bounds on Derek Lewis. Stepped on the line. John, although BCC is losing, they are playing great defense today. Their defense, if you can't tell by the score, the defense is pretty good. Their full court press for sure is, like I said, rattling them. As you can see, number three, Fawaz Mass. Beautiful. A travel call on number 10, Shavarin Hardy. Justin McElroy passes it to number 22, Anthony Parker. And number two, Michael Moniz hits a three. The score is 14-13, Lynx. Beautiful defense by Justin McElroy. Up top to Malcolm Moniz. Travel call. Anthony Parker traveled. I have to catch that. It was a blatant travel to say the least. Here comes the full court person. I don't think they even stopped, ever stopped it. Stepped on the line, number 22, Mark Harbor. Almost made a great save. It seems the Lynx are uh, throwing on a full court press as well. Trying to see if they can get some of the bees magic. Mass passes it to Parker. Parker, beautiful pass, beautiful pass from Parker to Lewis for the easy lane. Jason Chalette Jr. Phil Smith subs in for number 10, Shavarin Hardy. And number 44, Kevin Pierre subs in for Ryan Sweeney, number 45. Lynx ball. Jason Chalette drives in and he gets a hard basket. Moniz carrying up the ball as he always does. Passes it to Fawaz Mass. Mass driving in, loses the ball off his leg. Link's ball. Now John, 
out of the 17 players for red, there are 11 freshmen, so another young team. Wow, that's this uh, battle of the young bloods, huh? Ethan Rudlich has the ball. Pass it to number 44, Kevin Pierre. Pierre to Phil Smith. Great half court defense, too, John. Indeed. Rutledge passes it to Jason Chillette. Chillette's going to try to make a move, and he shoots a three. This is great rebound by Derek Lewis. Oh, blocking call called on number three, Phil Smith. Oh, number five, my bad. Number five, Jason Chillette Jr. Justin McElroy calling out a play. Pass it to number two, Malcolm Moniz. He's looking for something, John. McElroy with the ball. Passes it to Lewis. Lewis! Ooh, tough miss by Lewis. Red's ball. Phil Smith with the three. Couldn't hit the transition three. Lewis grabbed the rebound. He was over. It was a good shot. Great finger roll by Michael Moniz. Great John, finger roll. I don't know. He might be fined. Ooh. A tough and one. Now that was a clock. Tough and one. Derek Lewis fouls number five, Jason Chalette. Chalette is going to have another, re another shot for the end one. Gets the end one. Malcolm Moniz carries the ball, passes it to DeRosa. DeRosa, ooh, this is a tough shot. Great rebound by Devon Bailey. Couldn't lay it in. Mark Harbor misses the three. Thought he was fouled. White ball. They love shooting from that side of the court. Yeah, I haven't seen them shoot one time from over in, on our area. DeRosa carrying the ball up the court. Pass it to McElroy. McElroy driving in. 22 fouled McElroy. Number 22 is Mark Harbor. Number 35, Demetrius Roos is subbing in for number 44, Kevin Pierre. Rosa with the ball. Pass it to Malcolm. Oh, Malcolm Moniz. McElroy passes it to Parker. Parker couldn't make the shot as he did previous. That's a shot. That is a shot if, if, if we learned anything from this game. McElroy with the easy lay in after his beautiful defense. That was great defense. Finally, a shot comes out over here. Mark Harbour couldn't get, make it. Moniz carrying the ball, passes it to DeRosa. DeRosa with the finger roll, finish. BCC takes the lead. 21-19, great defense by Bailey. Ooh, a powerful dunk by number 35, Demetrius Roos. Coach looking for a foul. Pass it to number 22, Mark Harbor. Harbor with the off the glass layup. A one on three, fast. Shane DeRosa passes it to McElroy. 
McElroy to Bailey. Bailey with the beautiful jump shot. 23-23, all tied up. Phil Smith passes it to Harbor. Harbor with the three. Looking at the ref like he got fouled. 26-23. DeRosa with the ball. Passes it to McElroy. McElroy to Moniz. Moniz with the deep three. Link's ball. Bees down by three. And a mass substitution is coming in. Jeff Fernandes in for Ma Malcolm Moniz. Mike Fiola in for Devon Bailey. Justin McElroy. Sweeney carrying up the ball. Ooh. Clearly fouled Demetrius Rose making it work, making it happen. He's clearly carrying this team right now. He's drawing the fouls, John. Bruce with the ball. I believe he's only missed one free throw. Nails the first one. This form is good for him. You don't just see that every day with a big man. Two for two on that trip. 28-23 links. He's down by five. DeRosa calling out a play. Passes it to number 10, Jeff Fernandes. Fernandes. Misses a shot by number 35. Kevin Brown passes it to DeRosa. To Fernandes. Fernandes looking for someone, passes it to DeRosa. DeRosa calling out a play, has to shoot it. DeRosa with a tough, tough shot. 28-25 links. Not an and one. Ref he called it before the shot. Jeff, Jeff Fernandes, number 10, fouled their number 10, Shaverin Hardy. Makes the first shot. A perfect two for two from Shaverin Hardy. DeRosa almost loses the ball. Pass it to Mass. Twenty-four foul number three. Curtis Williams fouled Fawaz Mass. Kevin Brown passes it to Mass. Mass passes it to Anthony Parker. And it was blocked. Great block. Great defense by the Lynx. Demetrius Roos, again, what can't he do? Anthony Parker with the ball, driving in. Puts up a, a tough shot. Rebound by Fernandes. Fernandes looking for an opening, passes it to Mass. Mass to DeRosa, DeRosa calling out another play. BCC's coach is screaming ISO. He likes the matchup. DeRosa to Mass. Travel on Mass. Good call, good call. Red ball. 
Here comes the full court pressure. In this game, it seems to be BC's mainstay. Number 10 on number 10. Passes it to Sweeney. Sweeney with a tough shot to Fernandes. Fernandes bringing up the ball. Fernandes to Parker. Parker with another Jimmy. Nice shot. I love that mid range. One of the highest field goal percentages in the game is from that area. Beautiful defense. Anthony Parker bringing up the ball. Sees the, oh. Beautiful, draws the foul. Two shots. Number 24 of the Lynx, Curtis Williams. Fouls, number 22 of the Bees, Anthony Parker. He's from Taunton High School, man. Taunton High School and he's a freshman. He's a freshman. Hard to believe, hard to believe. 6'3", Anthony Parker. Six three guard. Shooting two. The first time BCC is at the line. Beautiful. Hits the first free throw. Number two, Malcolm Moniz is coming in for number 10, Jeffrey Fernandes. One for one at the line. And he remains perfect. Two for two, Anthony Parker. Maybe he's the scorer he has to depend on. Beautiful defense by DeRosa. DeRosa passes it to number three. Mass, and Mass with the easy lay-in. And BCC takes the lead. BCC takes the lead, 31-30. Lynx take a timeout. Now let's go back to uh, the freshmen, and there's only 19. Out of 19, 10 of them, nine of them, my bad, are freshmen. Very young legs. That is, that's remarkable to say the least. They have to use their first legs to play that full court defense. No, I remember I was in the, uh, I tried out for the team and the coach told me that um, they're not going to be the biggest team as you can see. Definitely the Lynx out muscle them. Definitely a lot taller than them. But they can win on their speed. And with speed comes great defense, as and you can hard. see. Definitely. Playing Definitely. Hard, as we just saw from that nice, uh, Steal from DeRosa. Beautiful. I believe after this, Anthony Parker will have many opportunities. <laughs> Definitely. Because he is looking good. Definitely. He uh, seems to not miss, which is beautiful for uh, the BCCBs. Definitely. He's hot when it's a cold night. Red ball, end of the timeout. Five minutes and 34 seconds left. Ooh, almost, almost a near steal by Moniz. Their full court defense is working out well. Ooh. Easy laying by number 50, Ethan Rudledge. But great defense nonetheless by Devon Bailey. Moniz carrying up the ball, passes it to Mass. Mass to DeRosa. Back to... Back to Mass, to Bailey, to Moniz, to Anthony Parker, who has the hot hand. They're looking for an opening. Lynx are playing tough D. They can't Seven find an opening. Parker with the shot. Nails the three. Nails the three. I told you, John. Hot hand. I told you, John. Hot hand. Oh, great defense by DeRosa. DeRosa picks it off. Pass it to Moniz. But the ref called the travel. Tough call. Great D. Bad transition. Let's talk about Anthony Parker again. That was some shot. That was some shot. Number 12 fakes a three, drives in, passes it to number 35, Demetrius Rose. Rose again with the easy lane. He's just out muscling the BCC, right? Like I said, they're not the biggest team, but Hey, score's tied up. Fifteen 
Phil Smith with the ball. Oh, DeRosa wide open. Passes it to Moniz. Moniz looking for an opening. Drives and passes it to Bailey. Bailey back. Too much time, John. Bailey back to Moniz. Back to find an opening. DeRosa, almost in, almost. But almost only counts in horseshoes in this world. Red ball. Score tied 34-34, 3.56 left in the first half. Just under four minutes. <laughs> Making substitutions. Number 20, Derek Pinto, coming in with an S whistle, coming in now. Derek Pinto's first night, first, uh, first few minutes. From Dayton, Rehoboth. He's coming in for Fawaz Mass. And Newby came in for Devon Bailey. Two for two from the line. Now, Derek is a shooter. He has a great shot. Let's see what he can bring to BCC. I did see him shoot around earlier. He was nailing him from left and right. Seemingly couldn't miss. It might be his green shoes, those are nice. Seemed to throw a comet pass at Moniz. Moniz almost lost it. Back to Pinto. Pinto. Pass it to Moniz. Moniz fakes a three, takes a free throw shot, misses. Great rebound by Anthony Parker. Doing everything. Coach calling for an ISO with Moniz. Jordan Richard is on Moniz. DeRosa with the three, corner three, nails it. Those threes, the corner threes are the closest threes in the game. That's why it's the highest field goal percentage from three. Really? I did not know. For the 35, Demetrius Roos misses. Surprisingly, to say the least, Moniz carries the ball up. As I'm sure you can hear, the coach is calling out the plays. Moniz passes it to DeRosa. Looking for another three, shoots it. Almost made the three. This one was on the line. Great defense. DeRosa. And the BCC Bees coach calls a timeout. Bees are up 37-36. 2.20 left in the, in the half. Up by one. Let's look at Malcolm Moniz, what shall we? 5'11", freshman from Shi High School. Shea High School. My bad, sorry about that. Shea High School. He plays like he's 6'4". Like you were saying, smaller guys seem to have a lot of heart. B's ball, Pinto is passing it in. Passes it to Moniz, who we were just talking about. Moniz, ooh. With the and one zone. He did not get the and one. Moniz, they called before the shot. Moniz with two free throws. Moniz makes the first one. Great must be practicing those in the off Moniz makes two. He's two for two from the line. 
Full court defense once again, confusing the links. Beautiful full court defense. Nice. Great steal by Moniz to DeRosa. DeRosa. With the toilet bowl finger roll, folks. And they're up 41-36. They, ooh, I heard that one from up here. I heard that one from up here. Number 24 of the Lynx, Curtis Williams, is up to the line. <laughs> Toughness on that shot. Substitutions on the court. Ryan Sweeney, number 45, comes in for number 50, Ethan Rudledge. And number 12, Jordan Richard comes in for number 10. Number three, excuse me, Phil Smith. Michael Moniz, is carrying, Malcolm Moniz is carrying the ball up. Pass it to DeRosa. DeRosa to Newby. Newby. He's attacking the paint. Newby showed great aggression. Good shot, good shot. Number 24, Curtis Williams passes it to number 12, Jordan Richard. Back to Demetrius, Demetrius. Again, misses. Malcolm Moniz, fast pace, gets blocked on his shot. Gets his own rebound. Gets his own rebound, shoots a three. Misses the three. Number three of the Lynx, Phil Smith, passes it to number 12. Jordan Richard, back to Smith. Smith almost banked it off the backboard. He's still up by four. Moniz carrying the ball, running the clock, running the clock. DeRosa to Moniz. To Parker, who seemingly hasn't missed. To DeRosa, DeRosa. Shot clock running down, DeRosa has to make a play. And does. And a beautiful, beautiful shot. Number 35, Demetrius. Ooh, silky pass to number 45, Sweeney. Sweeney with the easy lay-in. Great pass by a big man. You don't see that nowadays. Moniz looking for the last shot. Five. Four seconds. Has to shoot. Seemingly got fouled, but no call. BCCBs are leading at the half, 43 to 39. Welcome back with the, oh, with the BCC Bees lead 43 to 39. Number 12, Jordan Richardson. Jordan Richardson about to inbound the ball. Right back to Oh, that, that would have been a great assist. Beautiful, beautiful attempt to say the least. That would have been a nice dunk. Beautiful pass from Moniz. Tough miss. Fast break. Nice block. You know, I've been meaning to bring this up. The BCC's bench has to be the best team chemistry you ever see. They always are clapping, always cheering on for their teammates. It's, it's beautiful. Very passionate. Beautiful. Three-second violation. Right. 
Great call by the referee. Another great call by the referee. Clearly a foul. BCC up by four. You gotta love uh, Mass's shoes. Highlighter yellow, can't go wrong. Comes the full court press once again. I believe he has two blocks already. Great block by Moniz for a small guy. Oof. Beautiful. From Shea High School. Fake pass. Down low. Number two. Wow. Looks like a clean block to hit from here. This man has been seemingly carrying the links the whole game. I'd say so, John. He is just a monster down low. The Lynx trying to copy BCC's full court press. Pass in the air, nice pass to number 11, cannot finish. Missed an easy lay-in. Great pass. Again, what have I been telling you? Kevin Brown. What have I been telling you? He's having a great year. He's been seemingly carrying the team, as I've been saying. Yes, sir. Dangerous pass. That almost, almost was a great pass. Keyword, almost. The Lynx actually look like they're trying to trap them instead of just put a full-on press. Very, very... Shot by 15, Oof. after a few bounces, misses. White ball. You should see only up by two. Now that shot by Moniz is a very rare miss. He usually nails those lands. Number 11 with the move, he had 30 wide open. Number 5 looking for an opening. Fakes a three. Good pass. Just a little, just a little off center. You want to know what I think it is about the BCC's bench? When I did tryouts, the coach really nailed it in that this team is all team. It's a family. That's what it is. As you can see. As you can see. I'm sure you all at home can hear them.
Beautiful oh, shot. Good shot. It's all in the shoes. Some confusion on the court. And here goes their beautiful press. Great D, great D, great D. Great play by DeRosa. The bench was in the way, though. He could have easily had it if the bench wasn't there. Who put that bench there? Ooh, almost a backcourt. Ooh. Shane DeRosa playing a great defense. Couldn't keep hold of the ball. BCC is really taking advantage of their mistakes. Shane inbounds the ball. Back to Shane. Dribbles up the court. Three. Got it. Two. Two. I'm sorry. A very deep two. A very deep two by DeRosa. Might as well be a three. Ooh. That's questionable speed. Great defense by the Bees. Great defense. Have some skates on it. They are traveling. BCC leading 49-43. 15-58 left in the half. Shane draws the foul. Number 22, Anthony Parker, is in for Kevin Newby. Kevin Newby is a sophomore. Beautiful 6-4 from Heritage High School. Thank you. ECC up by six. I wish I was 6-4. Ooh, great rebound. But stolen away. Red, touch the last one. Out of bounds. That was a great rebound that seemingly got ripped right out of his hands, but... It's Bristol ball. It's Bristol's ball. Can you park him? Let's see if Parker can Back stay as hot as he is. Shaney. Taking over the corner. DeRosa, seemingly the second half hero so far in what is a, a short lived second half. From Shane Tyson. I'm liking what I, I'm seeing from him, but he didn't have a, a great first half. He didn't have a great first half, but you know what, right now, the second half, he's showing his worth. It seems so far in the first half, it was uh, Anthony Parker's, it was Anthony Parker's half, but now so far, it looks like DeRosa's taken over. Quite a difference. Shane is a sophomore, too, so oh. that level of experience is yes, needed. Definitely, definitely very needed, definitely very needed. Right now, it looks like the Lynx coach is not too happy with what he's seen from his team so far in the second half. BCC up by the highest lead they had all game, nine points. Even though they're up, if you take a look at their huddle right over there, they are still intense clapping. That is family right there. Yeah, that is hard. That is beautiful. Both teams have two fouls. And the timeout has ended. Who would have guessed they're actually pressing? Hmm. Quick passes. Very it looked like old fashioned basketball. No dribble, just pass. Back in the day, John. Great finish by number 35, Mr. Dimitri Rose. What am I telling you? From Detroit. Like I've been saying all game, it's all in those shoes. Could BCC getting the calls they deserve. I gotta get me a pair of those. Two free throws. 
Great shot. One of the nine freshmen. Tough miss. Great defense by Parker. Great defense. Turnover. That was still great defense, to say the least. Great defense. He nailed Almost that tough shot. Almost tough shot. That's the type of shot you want them to take. Hand in the face. VCC is up by five. Looking for an opening. There's Mr. Mass. There's a three. Got it. Great three by Mr. Max. Great shot, great shot. A little, a, a little surprising he took the shot, but hand in the face, we'll take it. As he gets it, steal. Beautiful shot by Maz. Great, great conversion. Beautiful defense, my bad. Beautiful steal by Maz. have to box him out. Number 35, Mr. Dimitri. Honestly, I think they should start double teaming that guy. Hey, maybe triple team. Yeah. Shane DeRosa. Hot shooter. Shoots. Fools us. Great rebound by Maz. Great rebound, great finish. That was a beautiful rebound. Beautiful rebound. Up by 11. I knew that missed three throw, free throw didn't uh, rattle him. A layup by number 10, Mr. Hardy. Almost a near block by uh, Bailey. Hardy being first. Oh, I thought he was going to take that. Coach is going for an isolation. The coach seems to be very comfortable with Moniz at the helm. Shot, three points. Shane DeRose having a hot hand in this quarter. That's a beautiful shot. You want him to take those types of shots. Great D by Malcolm Monet. Corner threes, can't go wrong, can't go wrong. Almost a steal. Full timeout, Lynx. Full timeout. Second half, second it's a great half, second half, to say the least. They are looking much sharper than your first half. Honestly, you cannot, you cannot yes. complain about what they are doing. BCC is really taking control of the game. They are up by 12. But number 35 for the Lynx. Again, number 35. That, that's, that's their only problem. Demetrius Roos, he, he is really killing them inside. He's hard in the and like I said, that's what the coach came back to. They're not the BCC Bees are not going to beat any team with their height or or strength. They are going to beat them with their speed and agility. Art and shooting. They are shooting great. This half. Can't complain, man. Can't complain. Great full court defense. Great. By Maz. Maz has not taken a seat in this second quarter, in the second half, excuse me. Foul, Mr. Maz. He's playing with great heart. McElroy comes in for number two, Moniz. From New Bedford High School. He's sophomore. He's going to be missed next year. McElroy is a key part of this team. Shot. Why would you take that shot? Number 24, number 3, open. 
takes the three, has it. That was a tough shot. We'll live with it. Great shot. We will live with that shot. Great Six defense by the bees. Up by nine. Shane has the ball, calling for a play. Number 22. Great rebound. Great rebound by Derek Lewis. Questionable shot, though. Clearly fouled on that on that shot. doing a great job. It's good seeing DeRosa be very physical this second half. Nails it. Nails it. Now I remember when I was trying out. If you missed a free throw, he made you run suicides. Wasn't fun. Sounds scary. Now, Jeff Fernandes comes in from the bench, as well as Kevin Brown. Another free throw made by Shane. That practice definitely, uh, definitely helped them. Beautiful. Great defense. Steal? Very close. Very close steal, but remains red ball. Lynx ball. Number 22, Mark Harbour, looks to inbound the ball. Mark to 24, shoots a questionable shot, rebound red, 35. Another questionable shot by red. White ball, great, great defense. A lot of men collapsed on uh, number 35 again, Demetrius Roos. They collapsed, a lot of bees collapsed on him. Made him commit that turnover. Number 10 looking for something, an open, anything. Almost nearly picked off on that pass. But again, what is almost only good in? Not much. Not anything either. Except for horseshoes. Horseshoes. Shane looking for something. Number 10. Now let me tell you, number 35, Kevin Brown, he is doing a lot of things that won't show up on the stat sheet. He is setting great picks, and that was a great pass. Just number 15, Derek Lewis just couldn't hold on to it. I couldn't tell by looking at him. He's playing like a big man on campus. Number 50 looking for something. Takes a dangerous shot, but he was fouled. Hey, paid off. Paid off, now he's getting two free throws. Ethan Rutledge. A forward and a freshman. 6'5". 6'5". What were they feeding him? Looks like one of the tallest guys on the court. If not the tallest guy on the court. From where we are, definitely. Makes two with, makes two, with, uh, two free throws, excuse me. Shane, looking as their lead point guard. Passes to number one, Justin McElroy. Foot on the He's line. Out of Turnover, wait. Now, if all you viewers at home don't know where we are, we are currently in Bishop Conley's gymnasium right now. That is where BCC holds their home games. I'm sure as you can tell, their colors are not red and white. BCC's are green and white. Beautiful green and white, to say the least. Makes a move, cuts to the basket, Ooh. question move, shot blocked by number 10. Great block Jeff by Fernandes. 35, Ooh. takes it up, blocked by 35, but finished. Wow, lots of blocks there. It's a block party. It's Mr. Demetrius. It is a block party. He's off 
offensive game, it's defensive game. It's a great game. Pass to Demetrius. Makes a move. Spins around. Surprisingly bad pass. pass. Surprisingly bad pass. Bad pass. Things are known for the miscommunication in bad passes. As you can see. A rare turnover. Timeout, Bristol Community College. Up oh, by 11. 67 56. Now, I'd like to take this time to again point out the BCC's bench. BCC's bench really powers their defense, if you can tell. It makes the offense confused, the links seem confused, and the defense seems energized by how they are cheering. They have to keep maintaining a full court game. A full court defense in a fast break team, slowing their bigs. It's key, it's vital. The, li the links' bigs are pretty scary down low. They hug the paint, they hug the paint, and they are controlling the paint. But BTC is controlling the fast break in a full court practice. Like Shane DeRosa and everyone's free throw. A great offseason. Couldn't have said it better myself. Timeout is up. Number five, Shane DeRosa. Makes a move. Good move. Good hit. Miss. Number 35 with the rebound. He missed. No, even Brown. Even though Brown missed that shot, he's going to be vital for the team's future. They are going to groom him to be a great big man. That was great pressure. The foul by Mr. Jeff Fernandez, a freshman from New Bedford High School. Great defense by both teams. As a fan is screaming out. Number 45. Ryan Sweeley checks back in the game. First free throw. Good. Number 44, Kevin Pierre. You know what I seemingly forgot in college is if you miss the first free throw, you don't get the second free throw unless you get the rebound. Well, if you, even if you get the rebound, it's your ball. It's not like the NBA. It's not like the NBA. Easily forgotten. The Lynx are picking up their defensive intensity. Back to Shane DeRosa, he looks for an opening, controls the dribble, passes to number one. Like we said earlier, DeRosa is taking over the second half. Number 35, Kevin Brown calling for the ball. I think number but 15 just threw the ball out of bounds. I think the ref missed that one. The Lynx definitely got gypped on that call. A little confusion on the court with the shot clock. Number five, Shane Rosa. Gets the pass. Number one, back to Shane. Three, great shot. Miss. McElroy, great, dude, great, great, uh, great hustle. That is just pure hustle. What a bad pass. Bad pass to say the least. Bad pass. Great hustle. You can't knock him. Questionable foul by number 15, Derek Lewis. Lewis seemed to be very upset with how he just fouled him because he knew it was a dumb foul. But he's making up for it. Number 24 looks to me. Shoot some free throws. Curtis Williams, a freshman, standing at 5'10. Dribble dribble. Looks at the rim. First shot. Rattles in. Barely rattles in. Number 11, Divin Bailey. Just to check in for number 15, Derek Lewis. And as you can see right now, the assistant coach, well, as we can see right now, the assistant coach is talking to number 15, Derek Lewis, about the uh, questionable foul call he committed. He shot and missed by number one, Justin Nicholson. Here comes the fast, 
Bad pass. Oh. A foul. A foul by Justin. A guard and a sophomore. Again, great hustle by McElroy. Great hustle. New Bedford High School. Not too far from Fall River. Not too far to say it, you know? Not Pretty much right up the highway. About five minutes. First free throw and miss. A miss. Mark Harbor. Miss free throw. BCC with their hands up. Kevin Brown calling for his teammates to keep his hands up. Second free throw, good. Now it's three shot field goal. This teammate, the, the team's chemistry is beautiful. Three free throws because he was fouled outside the line because he was shooting a three. But only converts one out of the three free throws. Shane DeRosa inbounds, gets the ball. He's got to be working on those free throws of his. Number yeah. three, foul wise mass, draws the foul and looks to inbound the ball. Now if you remember in the first half and in the beginning of the second half, he was doing great on offense and on defense. Mr. looks for an opening. Number one, back on the three. Number two, King. Draws a foul. The Lynx are just, are just drawing, are just committing terrible fouls, terrible fouls. I, I believe they're just panicking because they're uh, losing and they can't find anything. Ooh. Hey, I spoke Great too soon. steal. Great I steal. Turn over for one. 44 calls for the ball. Over 45. A big man gets blocked. Oh. A, great, a, a great rebound. But he was out of bounds. Try to call a timeout. Couldn't get it. Great call by the ref. Phil Smith with the turnover. A sophomore. Now back to Michael Sweeney on that shot. If he was just a little bit quicker, possibly would have been an easy layup for sure. Mr. Maz looks to inbound the ball. To Malcolm Mones. The Lynx have stopped playing the full court pressure though. Hey, yeah, great observation, great observation. I just noticed. Ooh. Try to thread the needle with that pass, but did not work. Justin was open. It was open, but that pass, that pass. Hey, hey, speaking of bad passes. Now he gets the timeout. That was a great, great call by number three. Number three, Phil Smith. Phil Smith, great call. He did the toe tap. The toe tap. Bringing some football term to basketball. That was a great timeout. Would have been a turnover. That is great. A lot of freshmen may not call that, but his experience being a sophomore might have helped him. Honestly, you might just be right if you think about it. Freshmen make sometimes silly mistakes, but sophomores, you know, they have that year of experience and they know what to do when the time comes. BCC showing unity once again. You gotta be proud to be to be calling this game, seeing the, the team and their unity. You really do. You have to be. Number 12, looks in down the ball. Jordan Richardson. Hey, at this point, you might have been proud of just being a BCC student with this and their determination. They have a bright basketball future. Very bright, very bright. They were very close to winning it, to making the playoffs last year, I believe. Very proud of being a student here at BCC in Fall River, Massachusetts. Oof. A travel call by number two, Tough Malcolm call. Mones. Tough a call. Freshman. Back to the experience. He's a freshman. Indeed. Good call. Good. This is college basketball, John. Not high school. Mm -hmm. The turnovers must be limited. Because, the, and offense, way. because if you don't limit the turnovers, the other team's going to capitalize on them. BCC up 67-61, 6.30 left in the game. The bench getting into it. 
35 versus 35, takes it up to the basket, misses a layup. That was a great pass. Great pass. Back to the full court pressure. Hey, Sean, Sean going off 35. Offensive foul. Hey, but he did set him up if he turned the other way. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Hey. Off Kevin Brown's back. A freshman at Hope High School. He's gonna learn. He's, gonna he's, learn. he's a great player. Yes. Great defense, great defense, a turn off. Uh, Beautiful defense. Off way. Off McElroy, McElroy's leg. Hands up. 22 looks to inbound the ball. Mark Harbor, a freshman. As the bench is chanting defense. Can't handle the pass, but converts. Butterfingers. Curtis Williams calling the play. Number three looking for an opening. Down low. Curtis Williams. Makes a move. Yep. Attacks the basket. Draws. Curtis Williams made a Draws smart. The foul. Made a smart play by passing it. Passing that out after the comment of a pass. He was. A great two. play using his size, using the fast defense. Number 50 looks to check in. Ethan Rutledge. 35 back at the free throw. And Ethan Rowe, the center. BCC's bench trying to uh, shake up number 35. Oof. BCC. What's good about Demetrius? What's good about Demetrius is he stays poised. You can tell. He knows he's one of the best players on the team. And he plays like it. Two for two at the line. BCC up by two. Somewhat losing their lead. Could have been an uh, offensive foul with the push off, but the refs are otherwise. BCC only up by two now. Their lead. Number three, Mr. Maz at the free throw line. Looking to shoot two. And not only does Maz have highlighted shoes, he also has black and white socks. Two different color socks. This could factor into how he's playing. Number 15, Derek Lewis is center, freshman from New Bedford High School. Check center. Nothing but net. Great shooting percentage, especially at the free throw. Fawaz Mass. This is a great game going on. Converting both free throws. Here comes a dangerous full court press. Seemingly worked. An opening, but he cannot handle the couldn't, pass. Couldn't keep hold of that pass. It's a great game, 69-65 BCC. A great game. Tough shot. Three by number three, converts. Phil Smith. Great three. Great three. Had his man off, off his feet. Questionable shot by number one, Mr. Justin. The Lynx could take the lead with this three. 22. They don't even need a three. He did shoot some three threes in the first half shot. Number 22, Mark Harbour. He shot a couple threes in the first half. No shot. No shot. The head coach for the Lynx, Paul Hogan, looks to communicate with his players on the court. Malcolm Moniz with the one and one. Oh. No need to uh, box out the free throw shooter when he's automatic. Now, Paul Hogan, the opposing coach, has great credentials. He was a great coach. Winning a couple of championships, playing for four years at Plymouth State University. Now, I was, you were telling me that he had a 31-3 uh, and three record, I believe. Yes. Wow, that is As something. That is something. That means he's a great coach. Turnover, right. Number 
15 looks to inbound the ball. Derek Rose. Red is up. Hey, block by 35. This is a close game. Four and a half minutes left. This is a close game, 71-70. It's diminished, it's gone. They need some offensive. I know Anthony Parker had a great first half. Maybe we'll see him in the second half. Maybe he can uh, get in the game. He's gonna shoot it, DeRosa. Tough shot. Tough shot, but a great shooter. He is Here a great shooter. Fast break. 22. Miss. Ooh. Great rebound, but there was a foul. Foul on Derek Lewis. You can't go wrong with Derek Lewis. Derek Lewis's shot. And his hustle. Great you can't? Action. No? Yep. Timeout. 20 second timeout, seemingly. Yep. 20 seconds. 20 second timeout. With less than four minutes left in the second half. All right. A pretty high scoring game. Yeah. So you know, for what for what these teams are, definitely, definitely, it's going to come down to the wire. It will. 71-70. 3:50 left in the game. BCC has 10 fouls and red eight. BCC is going to try to ride with their bench cheering them on. Which they have to. BCC's bench is clearly uh, a lot louder than the Lynx's bench. They can't lose this game being one and one. They need to get over 500 BCC, definitely. Number 35, back at the field. Dimitri Rose, convert. Doesn't miss. Ties up the game. Doesn't miss. Lynx looking for their first lead in the second half. Bench's intensity is on fire. Oh! Can't convert. A tie ball game. Blocked. But a questionable foul from what? I don't know. Yep. Great, great call by the refs. Clearly a foul from. I personally didn't see anything. Might be those green shades you have over your eyes. Number 50, Oof. Ethan Rutledge. And with that Converse. free throw, with that, with that free throw, the Lynx are up 72-71, 3.46 left in the game. Shoots and cannot finish. That free throw looked very awkward and it's not surprising that he missed. But he's otherwise a great shooter. Lynx. I don't know about that call. That call at this late in the game. I'm not too sure, John. I believe he had a few other traveling players. I believe he had two traveling players. I don't know about that. I don't know. Come on, defense. They got it. The bench are calling defense. Great defense, but number 24 converts the lane. Curtis Williams, the guard, freshman. Standing at 5 10. There. BCC had to call a timeout there because it would have been a uh, violation. Confusion on the court. Not yeah, too I don't many know. People open. I don't even know if it was confusion as so much of the Lynx's defense. That was that was phenomenal defense to say the least. BCC down by three. Three fourteen. Still a one. Still a one possession game. We, all we need is a two. Quick two. I mean, it's we still have plenty of time. We don't need a three. You don't think so, John? I don't. I don't think we need a three. We don't. Like I said, there's plenty of time. All we need is a quick two. Shane, Shane has had a That is true. You want to know who I think should be in the game right now? Anthony, Anthony Parker. Parker. Anthony Parker. He has been on fire throughout the game. On fire. His mid-range shot. Great. Anthony Parker, a guard, a freshman, at 6'3", yeah. from Taunton High School. 
you know, he's playing at an elite level right now. He will be a great asset in the future. Think about it. He's a freshman right now. This is his first year playing at a college level sport. Unbelievable. Now here's something interesting though. BCC's tallest man is only 6'5". Wow. Devin Bailey. And he's a freshman. And a freshman from Rogers High School. Derek Lewis actually is 6'5". He's the center. Good hey. Hey. My eyes are going off. On hey, it's all good. Don't worry about it. Derek Lewis, the 6'5 freshman. Can you get over that? I can. Change the balls now. Inbounds the ball. Up court. Looking for an opening. Clock go. is ticking. Shane still looking for somebody. Ten seconds left on the shot clock, folks. Under three minutes. BCC down by three. This Dribbles, makes the move, attacks the basket. 35, Ooh. wide open. Great, great pass. Great pass. He can shoot and he can pass. Ooh. Phenomenal defense, there we go. Maybe. This is what they need. That they timeout need definitely stop. fired them up. Yes, they did. Number 35. Great rebound Great by no McElroy. Great, Great. No by the ref. We're getting a little help from the ref, I guess, on that little yes. play, I guess. Here we go. Wide open. It's travel. It's travel. The ref calls it travel. That's, that's a terrible call. Red ball. That is. BCC down by one. A questionable call by the I don't believe Mass, Mass traveled, but the refs are otherwise. Even the head coach doesn't believe he did. Great defense. Out of bounds, BCC. Great heart and hustle. Again by Mass, doing good. That is hustle. Keep playing with that heart. This should not defense. deter them. This should not deter them. Not much of an offensive game, but defensive game. He is doing great. Right next to inbound the ball. And nobody truly open. This is a great game, folks. It is. Attacks the basket. Number 12 attacks the basket again, but block. Shane DeRosa dribbles up the court. Can BCC, can BCC do something on this possession? That's the question. The clock is ticking. The Last crowd. Game. The crowd is getting into it. Yeah. It's about time too. The last two minutes. Great call by the ref. Clearly he was pushed out of bounds. A, a great call. Hey, and who knows? Look who's on. Look who got the foul call. Number 35, Demetrius. The coach silencing his bench. As the fans are uh, saying about time to the refs. Shane DeRosa at the free throw. A great shooter, especially today. Nice. This free throw could bring BCC to the lead. It is now tied 74 74 with 152 left in the game. And he nails it. Like I said, they practice free throws every practice. Shane DeRosa making his mark known in the game against the Lynx. Paul Hogan will remember his name. BCC is up by one. On Great, the defense. Great defense made by uh, Moniz. The crowd and bench is into it. Oh, wouldn't you know? Wouldn't you know? Demetrius. 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 He is on fire. Number Great five. pass. Shane Rosa looks for an opening. Number two, the clock ticking. BCC down by one. Moniz back, calling out the play. Back to Shane. Attacks the basket. And the foul. And, 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 and one. And one. Great call, ref. That was a good call. Shane DeRosa having it. Great. DeRosa's taking over the second half. BCC is up by one with a 1 12 left. Both teams have 10 fouls. Shane converts. They are up by a possession now. 78-76 BCC. Are you on the edge of your seat yet, folks? BCC playing full court press. Oh. Misses. Can lay it. 
Great rebound by Maz. Great oh, rebound. Three on Attacking one. Attacking the basket. And McElroy. McElroy with a great lay-in. Great lay-in. Up by four with less than a minute left. Both teams at 10 fouls. This is a great game. The crowd is into it. The bench is into it. It is electric. Oh. It is electric. It was electric to say the least. A foul. Number 35. Back commit, at the line. It's he now a two possession two. game, but he can make it a one possession if he nails one of these free throws. Number 35, Demetrius, probably lives at the people. Probably lives on the basketball court, let's be real. His he free is. throw percentage is pretty remarkable. If it wasn't for him, they wouldn't be in this game. Hey, he's playing like Durant. Oh. The Denver fans. The first free throw the as their subs. The fans are finally in it. About time. Not a second too late. They need it now. They need all the support they can get. It's a three point game. 4.54. Four, 45 seconds left and in the game. This is a crucial free throw. They are now up by three. Up by three. Less there he goes. 40 seconds left. Moni is showing his ball handling they skills. They want to waste as much time as they can on the court. Timeout. Timeout, BCC. I am impressed by BCC's second, second half. They're poised. They are showing a lot of yeah, poise right like now. Different team. What is there? You said there was nine freshmen here? Nine out of 14. Nine, nine out of 14 freshmen. They look like seniors. Showing a lot they of look part. like seniors right now. Great. This is beautiful. Some of the bench players giving some drinks, water to their teammates. Very hard. Beautiful. Over at the links, the coach is very determined that his that his players know what is about to happen on defense. Paul Hogan is a great coach. You have to he give is. Him some credit. You have to. You have to. He is a great coach. His He's everything. A great everything. Leader. Just by looking at him right now, you can tell he's a great coach. Only six players from the opposing team are returning players. Oh. Is that so? The other 11, as mentioned, are first. Oh, wow. All right. All right, oh. the Lynx seem ready to go. They seem ready. They cannot they give up ready. any points. 23 seconds left on the shot clock. 32.3 seconds left on the whole, on the game. On the game, guys. On the game. BCC is in. BCC is ready. Robert. Head coach. Sixth season being a head coach. Seems like there's some confusion on the links. Number two. Tries to find an opening, but he is fouled and dancing. Ooh. It was getting a little scrappy on that yeah. foul call on that foul. What was he reaching into? All right, Moniz could nail some nails in the coffin right now with these free throws. He can make it a two possession game with just one free throw. From Shea High School, a freshman. BCC up by three with 23.7 seconds left. Nails the first one. Converts the first one. Start nailing one nail in the coffin. All right. Nail another one. This lead is just getting more and more difficult for the Lynx to, to, to win, really. Five point game. The BCC up. Playing great defense. Almost turnover. Questionable shot. Travel call. That could have been it. This could be it. Number three, Bill Smith with a costly, a very costly turnover. The Lynx. A foul number three, Phil Smith, with 11.5 seconds left. BCC up by five. Now, now he nailed some nails in the coffin. This could be him burying the coffin. Oof. Timeout, red. 
Agreed. This is a great game. Both great coaches. Great teams. Great teams, to say the least. They definitely hustled their butts off today. No, I'm personally surprised that Anthony Parker hasn't been playing much. Honestly, yeah. Honestly, if you think about it, he, like I've been saying the whole game, like we've been saying the whole game, he was the driving factor as to why BCC was so good the first half. Maybe it's because he's a freshman. But hey. He can't go wrong as sophomore Shane DeRosa has taken over the second half. Very true. Very true. They're both guards, so, I mean, the coach just went with a hot hand in the second half, and you cannot blame him. You cannot blame him. Oh. Paul seems like he uh, he sees some light at the tunnel. Maybe he believes this lead is not insurmountable. Now, but, if you were the head coach for it, would you shoot a three and then foul? Or I would shoot a three. It's time. It's only 11.5 seconds left. They haven't been shooting much threes. It's very true. If not any. Very true. So you can't really have much comfort in shooting a three Let's. this late of the game. Number two, Ken versus first two. Great shooting for some. Great. The backspin on his free throw is beautiful. And it seems like it's over seven point lead with 10 seconds left in the game. Nine seconds. Six seconds. Attacks the basket. Number three. 79 84. BCC. 4.2 seconds remaining. Lynx called a timeout. Coach. Coach doesn't seem too happy with his players right about now. The opposing coach. The Lynx coach, you're right. Nothing to complain about over at BCC's bench. They seem calm and collected. Maybe they know the game is uh, over. Maybe. 4.2 seconds. Five point lead. The it's going to be tough. Hey, the crowd did fantastic near the end of the game, to say the least. You, you're going to love the unity with the BCC. Like, I, I cannot stress it enough. The unity BCC shows with their team. I'm impressed. That's all I have to say about today. I am deeply impressed. To be a successful basketball team, all you need is heart, passion, and a will to win. That's all you need. In practice. Practice. We talking about practice? Practice. BCC ball, number one. Justin looks to inbound the ball. Number two, they foul. 3.1 seconds remaining. Takes off 1.1 second. Five point lead, BCC. Maybe that one second was too much. Coaching him. Coaching is Coach is having some words with his players. Paul is. Indeed he is. Paul who is the opposing coach. Number two. Convert. I think he's taken um, all the late game free throws. Yeah. So much good. pressure he's riding on this. On this free throw, right? yeah. On this side, honestly. Converts both free throws. 3.1 seconds left. Don't. You know what, Nate? Great. That's all she wrote. That is all Great she game. wrote, folks. BCC, 86, Great game. Lynx, 79. Great game by both teams as we see them lining up to shake hands. I am Nathan Silva. And I am John Habershaw. And we thank you for watching. BCC versus NHTI Lynx.